What's up Rotax people who love Rotax engines? This is a video on comparison to the Gearbox E and the Gearbox B. I want to compare these two just so you guys out there see the differences between the two on sizes and weight. Alright, now I'm going to tilt this over sideways. I want you to get a visual on just how, much, how this looks on the side compared to the Gearbox B. You can see the visual difference on that, on the two. And I'm going to turn this back up, and this one back up. So yeah, there you go. Get a visual on this. This is the Gearbox E, and here's a visual of the Gearbox B. Now let's see what they look like on the engine itself. This is the 580, 583 engine. This is a Bluehead 583. As you can see, this uh, I know all of you out there want to make sure that's the 583. Look at type 583 right here. There we go. Can you see that? There is the gearbox E on the 583. Just in mind, you guys, the 583 is pretty much the same size as the 582. These will fit a, five, uh, a 447 Rotax, 503 Rotax, and a 582, and of course a 583. So these two gearboxes fit just nicely on all those, those four engines, just fine. And you can see, it looks right there. Notice that the size of this is a lot smaller than the gearbox E, drastically, as you could tell. I'm going to put the other one on. See the differences, right? I mean, obviously you have a you have an electric start right here on this guy, and this this one goes for about twenty three hundred dollars. If you were to buy it brand new, this one you could buy this gearbox B for around nine hundred bucks, eight hundred and forty dollars plus tax, be like nine thirty or so. And okay, just a reminder, you guys don't get don't get any gearboxes from Aircraft Spruce. Just, it, just because they take three to four months waiting period to, to, to mail it into the store for you to get it. We waited over four months and we try to order another one. It, it, they said it has a three month wait. Don't get it there, get it at Leading Edge Airfoils. They'll literally ship it to your house in, in less than uh, two weeks, approximate time, max two weeks. So you can get either one of these, in, uh, these gearboxes you know, from Leading Edge Airfoils and they'll send it to you ASAP. Don't get it at Aircraft Spruce. So I hope this video helped in comparison between two. One weighs significantly a lot more than the other one. So just a, a, a weight differences here. I'm gonna have my fiance pick up this gearbox E. <laughs> and you can tell by her face, you know, she's struggling a little bit. Now pick up the gearbox B. Sick a little baby. Uh, a lot significant change, right, on the, on the weight. You know, like you, you feel the difference. Yeah. One's a lot more drastically heavier than the other. And just for reference, we had um, opened this one, and right here down the down the line, and took off the the top half. This top half weighs just as much as this. Okay. Another tip for you guys: uh, this requires a battery. And this one, you don't have to have a battery. Battery. Just note that you don't even have to have all this weight. You're ready to go with this. You just you slap this on your Rotax, and then you just pull start it, and there you go. This one, you need a battery. And now, now for those of you who who don't know about batteries and whatnot, lithium is a way to go. I would assume, I would think that putting a lithium battery as your uh, your battery choice would actually be a good choice because lithium is a lot lighter versus uh, lead acid. So, you know, those of you out there that want, want, want to know that, there you go. So, all right, hope this video has helped.